I wanted to see how many real-life steps it would take to get across Skyrim. I have this setup using an Android app called Steppel in my pocket, which makes me walk forward in the game when I walk in real life. I'm kind of a noob when it comes to Skyrim, but I at least know that the two farthest main cities are Riften in the southeast and Solitude in the northwest. I figured I would start in Riften since I had already been there in my few hours of playing the game, and then walk to Solitude. Attempt number one. When I started this challenge during my live stream for the first time, I had no plan. I was just going to wing it, and I left from the north gate of Riften and I headed generally northwest. The only real plan I had going in was that I had to have god mode turned on so I wouldn't get hurt by anything, and then AI detection turned off so nothing would bother me. Well, winging it was a terrible plan, because I didn't know the world, so I had to keep checking my map. I sort of got lost, and people in chat kept telling me to use a spell called clairvoyance, and it would direct me to my map marker, so after 1,200 steps, I started over. Attempt number two. For my second attempt, everything was going well, initially. I knew that I generally had to go northwest to get to Solitude, and clairvoyance was generally taking me that way. But then, randomly, it took me to the College of Winterhold, which was not Solitude, clairvoyance. I think this was because my current quest was to go there, I guess? So, after 2,500 steps of this attempt, and a total of 3,700 steps, I started over again. Attempt number three. Around this time, someone in chat, hello my name is Cat, suggested just using their road signs. Pfft, road signs? That's dumb. That won't work. That's too hard. I'd rather use this 12 year old game's pathfinding algorithm to guide me the correct way. Road signs? Come on. So, as otherwise suggested by chat, I deselected the main quest, I started and tracked a quest in Solitude, and I had my map marker placed on Solitude. So surely, clairvoyance would lead me the correct way, right? Wrong. It did the same thing again. It was trying to take me to the College of Winterhold. That's not where I was trying to go, dude. So then, I kind of just went west from Winterhold and finally made my way to Solitude. I finally got there after 5,000 steps in total, but it was super unsatisfying and not a good test of the size of the map. So after the 5,000 steps of this attempt and a total of 8,700 steps, I started over again. But this time, I wasn't going to rely on the in-game pathfinding. I was going to rely on my first mod, the Lonely Nern. Attempt number four. The Lonely Nern is essentially an auto-pathing mod where you select a city in this book that's in your inventory and it just makes your character walk there in real time. That's it. So basically, I would just jog in place at my normal cadence while the game walked to solitude for me. Foolproof plan, right? Except not because it kept making me walk around in circles. I even stopped using the mod and I tried using clairvoyance and clairvoyance was making me walk in circles too. So basically, it uses the same pathfinding algorithm. Nice. So, I gave up for the day, but not for good. I, I wanted to see this through. I finally decided to listen to Cat from chat and use the stinking road signs. But this time I figured that I would test out the path from Solitude back to Riften following road signs and see if there was something I was missing. Lo and behold, the road signs took me from Solitude all the way past Whiterun and to the south gate of Riften, not the north gate. I don't know if that was the issue or not, but I liked this path way better. It stayed on the stone paths the entire time. I got to pass through White Run and avoid the snowy mountain paths that are just way too like foggy and hard to see through. And it was way more beautiful and scenic. I added this mod that made the road signs glow and I practiced this path off stream on like six times speed and I had it memorized. And it's honestly only like five actual turns. Attempt number five. It was a new day, and I had a filter on that made me feel like the Dragonborn. I was Dragon born for this, so then I started walking, or rather jogging in place. This attempt was so much nicer and less chaotic. I knew every turn I had to take to get to Solitude. I had some nice chats with the audience about their experiences with Skyrim. Everything was going great, and I actually made it to Solitude. It only took like 45 minutes and about 5,000 steps. So actually like pretty similar to the last time that I actually made to Solitude, but whatever. But then my worst nightmare happened. Someone in chat suggested that I do this on the game's walking speed. Not like the normal jogging pace that your character goes by default. No, like the slow walking speed. And so I ran a poll, and after like 80 votes, over 90% of people wanted me to do this walking. 
Here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> Are you serious? You guys don't want me to do this. This is going to take me two hours. <laughs> okay. Attempt number six. So I started walking. I honestly have no idea who would find this very interesting. I mean, yeah, I, I guess that the time lapse is cool, but like, like, look at this. I'm, I'm going so slow. And so I kept walking and eventually I made it to solitude again. And it took 14,000 steps and like almost three hours. Apparently I, I'm a glutton for punishment because while this took forever, it was kind of fun like it was a, it was a kind of fun stream and I got to know a lot of cool Skyrim fans that happened to find me and they had some great ideas for other places to try walking like like how many steps does it actually take to walk up the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar how many steps does it take to walk around Solstheim 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 I don't actually know how to pronounce that because I haven't been there yet or maybe even in other games how many steps to walk across the GTA 5 map? Or how many steps does it take to walk across the map of Red Dead Redemption 2? I love this setup, and I love the idea of encouraging exercising while gaming. Right now, unfortunately, the app only has an Android version. But honestly, I would love more than anything for this app to take off for people to be interested in this so that the developer can make enough money from it so that he can update the app and make an iOS version. So if you're really interested in this, please let me know in the comments and please share this with all your friends and family and whoever else might be interested in this combination of fitness and gaming. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.